Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to improve the query that we did in my previous demo, where I took information from an on-premise SQL database and added them to a SharePoint online contact list. Now, we did that with a query. So I'm going to go in and design view and took the information from the SQL database and added them to the SharePoint list. Now, if you want to do this periodically, of course, you don't want to keep adding the same ones again. You want to keep them up to date. So one simple way of doing that is to create another query that just removes the information. So I'm just going to remove the information from the SharePoint list. And that's, of course, going to be a delete query. So I'm just going to delete everything there and then save that query. Q remove store contacts close that one now and then just open that and run it and now you see it's running the query and in a few seconds I can go in to the SharePoint list here once it's done we can actually jump over to SharePoint and refresh here and we'll see that things will start disappearing here after a little while yes I'm gonna remove 753 of them and now they are indeed gone and of course they're gone in here too I can refresh that to see it all they are gone that you might be happy with opening that access database running these two queries but of course we can take this a few steps further uh, so if you run the run the two queries in sequence you can do that in maybe with a macro so I'm gonna create a macro to do this let's save the macro as update store contacts and the actions I want to take is open query open query and the query I want to open first is of course the remove store contacts and then I want to do another one open query again and then I want to run the add store contacts and then I, maybe I just want to close the database like that let's um, save that now then to make this macro really simple to use I'm going to just create another form maybe blank form here and I'm gonna add a big nice button on here yep let's add a button there we want to run a um, macro of course there next update store contacts and the text could be update store contacts next yeah, finish like that then I'll go and save the form update store contacts is a good name for the form also maybe and then under uh, file and options for the current database I'm gonna display the form update store contacts when it when it opens so that's fine so now when I close this open access again and open this file you see it opens this form by default and you can just run this and yes and accept yes and now the queries are just running so that shows you how to do it without any code what I would do for production maybe is do this all in PowerShell instead, but that's a whole lot of code and maybe you'll find this simpler and more manageable. And of course it took only like 10 minutes to set up, so hopefully you'll find this useful. Thank you for watching this demonstration.